So, sorry, I'm disheveled. I just came back from the gym. But listen, I wanted to come this morning to talk about Carnival. So for those of you who are not familiar with the Carnival debacle, uh, our bed had freshly been peed in and they made the bed up without taking the mattress pad off the bed, right? And so I laid in it, which I felt on the lower part of my leg, like between my knee and my ankle, right? That part got wet. We took detailed pictures of it, right? So anyway, I'm trying to write everybody because nobody's responding to me. Like I can't get a response from anybody. So what I did was I took to social media. And so I wrote John Held, who is the ambassador to Carnival, right? He's some kind of ambassador to something with Carnival. And then I wrote a couple of the people that work on the ship, like the cruise director, right? I've been writing, writing. I wrote Carnival two, three times, right? And so finally, I got an automated response back from Carnival, and it says something like, uh, we received your letter, and we will respond within 90 days. It was just a blanket letter. didn't say anything. Right, because I tried to, you know, file the complaints online. I was doing everything I could. And I'm like, 90 days, that's pretty weird how they have the complaint department set up, right? And so I called. I called the number that you would call to make a reservation because it seems that's the only way you could get in touch with anybody, right? So I called and I talked to a young lady. She was really, really nice. And she was like, yeah, that that's just the way it it goes she was like I really wish I could help you she said but I can't and I was like it's so funny that y'all answer the phone real quick when somebody wants to make a reservation but your complaint handling process is it takes forever and it's just like it's in the wind because nobody really says okay this is complaint so and so they give you a claim number like they don't do that so it is what it is. So um, about a week ago, I got a response and it said, hi, my name is Caitlin and I will be handling your complaint. So let us look over what you have written on your complaint and then we'll get back with you. This can take up to 60 days. So I was like, okay, so now we're from 90 to 60. And I was like, okay, this is good. Um, I was like, okay, somebody's got back in touch with us. We're about to get this taken care of, right? So I was just checking my email the other day and they wrote me back like five days later. And I was like, oh, okay, so let me read the letter. And the more I read the letter, the more I frowned because I'm like, this can't be real life. Like this cannot be real life. So Donna was going to put this on the screen a little better. She goes, Dear Peggy, my name is Caitlin. It is my pleasure to respond and assist. And I hope this email finds you well. We know that a stress-free vacation is something you look forward to. And we agree that customer service is fundamental to having a great vacation. All of us at Carnival also realize the time spent relaxing in your cabin is very important, which is why we are sorry to hear the issues you encountered with your cabin's mattress. As a goodwill gesture, I have issued a $50 onboard credit to use on a future cruise. I have also included or issued a $50 onboard credit for your travel mate, Donald. These onboard credits are set to expire on January 16, 2024. After you create a new reservation, please use the link below to connect your onboard credit with your new booking information. And then there's a link to a page, I guess, or yeah. whatever. Regarding the rude customer service agent, our management staff will sure address the issue that you expressed internally. We hope that this situation does not tarnish your entire opinion of us. We genuinely hope you'll join us again soon and look forward to welcoming you back. And so this is from Caitlin and Caitlin is guest care specialist Carnival Cruise and she's out of Miami, right? 
So I responded back to her and I was like, Caitlin, I appreciate the gesture, but this will not do. This is just not good enough for me. So I don't know where we go from here. I'm waiting on her to respond. She has not responded yet. They won't give you a phone number. All you get is a name here and they won't give you an email address because when you try to respond back, it says uh, it, it won't accept the response. You know, it won't accept the response. So at this point, I don't know what to do. It just left a bitter taste in my mouth, right? I'm just a little upset about how they handled it. Uh, it. It has to be a different way, but this is where we are right now. Here come Honey Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to jump in real quick, fam. Uh, so, Peggy read this email to me the other day. And while she was reading, I was like, okay, this sounds like this sound genuinely concerned, right, genuinely right. apologetic about the whole situation. Right. And when she said, please accept this $50 on board credit, <laughs> I right. was like, they have got to be kidding. My wife, not to be too graphic, laid in someone else's waist urine. Yeah. And they just the idea that this was right after they supposedly made the bed up day one of our cruise and they think a $50 credit is supposed to make everything all good I'm just I'm, I was in shock I'm, cause yeah I didn't know what to expect <laughs> but it's like here take this this is what we give to people who complain so yeah. you complain and now we're giving you this little credit so go on about your business now go on get, get from around here yeah. you get a $50 <laughs> credit for somebody being late, bring your luggage to your room or something. You get a $50 credit for any kind of thing. That is ridiculous to me. I'm just saying, I don't know what I expected, but that's not the response I expect. Like, I included my phone number, and I was like, I want to send you proof of what happened. I want to send you the pictures. I want to show you who the room steward was. Yeah. So, you know, you'll, you'll have all this, right? I want to sh I want to give you everything because this is unacceptable, right? And, and while she's telling me, oh, we'll fix it, I doubt it. But anyway, I'm not going to harp on it too much. But I was just really uh, taken aback by the... Just a blanket response, like this is this is what you get for your dinner being cold or yeah. something like that. Yeah, like this is not. I don't feel like they're taking it seriously. I at don't all. either. And, and then your mate, your mate. Your this is for mate. your travel mate. I thought that was super funny. But anyway, fam, I don't know where this is gonna go. We will keep you updated as things progress. But as far as carnival right now like i probably won't be on carnival on my next cruise no, you no. know but they won't miss us so you know it's exactly no we're not deal. really hurting them by doing yeah, that so but, but uh i'm not gonna say i'm done with carnival because it is the party boat and you do notice the difference you know yeah with a few things but anyway that was that now now another thing i want to talk to you guys about with the guy that so we found out yes. that it was one of the older people at the RV park and mm -hmm. he had a slight stroke. Um, they called it a minor stroke. They called it a minor stroke. So we found out like a couple days before we left. It was a minor stroke and he was back at home doing good yes. outside getting his exercise. Exactly. So uh, thank God it wasn't that bad. But yeah. when you're on a military base, it's like I told y'all this story. Uh, they come in force, right? Because they want to make yeah. sure they do everything right. They want to make sure they do every, every, everything that needs to be done to make sure that you're okay. So you gotta, you gotta love them for that. Like you gotta love them for that. But anyway, Donald and I are um, adapting to our new space. It's a little bit colder here, but it's okay. Like uh, it's not bad. It's Good morning, family. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So this is our new area. So we are facing the traffic from the front, right? But I'm gonna tell you, the sound of that driving at night is good music to sleep to, <laughs> right? And we are closer to the mountains, actually. So I'm gonna show you, I hope you can see this view.
it is a very brisk morning let me see if you can see that so we're a little closer to the mountains so this morning we're gonna get out and do a little exploring because you know it's time to buy stuff you know like your bulk items for the month Poo poo. Say good morning to the fam. Come here, poo poo. Say good morning to the fam. Say good morning. I ain't got no food player. Say hey. Say good morning, fam. Good morning. So, anyway, guys, it is a brisk morning. I, I want to say it's like 40 degrees outside. It's a little chilly. But anyway, um, we're going to uh, do a little exploring. But for the most part, we're going to. Um, I want to go to Target. Like. To me, Walmart prices are just getting to the point where they are, like you might as well go to a regular store because the prices are almost the same. So, yeah. All right, here's my honey bunny. Say hey to the fam. Hey, what's fam. going on, fam? How cold do you think it is outside? I would say 54. 50? Yeah. My gauge is all the way What'd on. What'd you say? Like 40. <laughs> she yeah, she she's not used to the cold, fam. I am used to the cold. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. But you ain't been there in how long? We were just there <laughs> three years ago, four years ago. You, that's a cold you never get over. I don't know why DJ is whining so much. He just wants to get out and do everything. It's a new space and new smells and new sights and everything. He just want to go yeah. smell everything. He'll be all right. But anyway, fam, we don't know what today is going to bring. We're just going to bring you along with us. I know that when we normally get to a new spot, I'm anxious to set up, but not really because <laughs> the wind here is so bad. I don't think we're going to set up our outside at all because the wind is bad. And plus, it's too cold, and then you can't have a fire pit. Remember I was telling you yesterday that they have a lot of rules. You can't even have a fire pit here. So we're just going to show you a little bit of the area and then we'll see what the day brings and where we go. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Okay. Hi. All right, fam. So, in my little research of the area here in El Paso, I found this place called the Glazy Donut Company. And so, you know, me and Donald like to try different things when we get to different places. So, <laughs> these are the ones we chose. Yeah. Now, right here, Donald is going to show you guys as we were walking through. It was so hard to make a decision on which donut to get because they all look so amazing. And they're all like, so the plain glazed donut, which they, is this one at the bottom, it was only two fifty. dollars They call it the glazies. They call it the glazies. And so I got two of those. You got that. And I got the two uh, specialty donuts. So I have a strawberry cream cheese and then no a cherry cream. cherry cheesecake i'm oh, sorry <laughs> i have a cherry cheesecake and a strawberry cream cheese donut i think that's how they call yeah. it but uh probably not gonna eat them because they I'm, I'm already i'm <laughs> i'm doing like this because i know they already sweet yeah. i'm like oh but i just want to try them i know i'm not gonna eat them because i don't like sweets like that but we had to try them so let me get a napkin. You remind me of the time we went through that crumble in uh, Utah and stuff, the crumble cookies. It looked real nice, but you, just, you can only eat so much sweet. So. Yeah. So I'm going to give you that one, player. Right. And we did get, get a macchiato to drink. So this is a local just donut shop. Yeah. Because um, 
Starbucks is right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I wish I had known that before I got the macchiato, I could have went over and got my regular Starbucks drink. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead, go ahead and get it. But it has your... a real nice atmosphere in there. I like it. It yeah. is. It's just like if you want to study or whatever else, like this is the perfect place. It's a coffee shop with free Wi Fi. Yeah. So, so like, here we go. Let's take this chicken. Go out. ahead. Go ahead. First bite, first bite, first bite. Is it super sweet? Mmm. No. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. It's a yeast donut. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to do this because this stuff too sweet. Let me try my first one. That donut was really sweet, and that was just a plain glaze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all, because it's too. It looks too sweet. Mm. You know what? Donald's donut is way sweeter. Mm. If you can get in there, they got some kind of. You can't see it. Mm -mm. Sorry about the camera angle, man. Too much light this morning. It's got some kind of little white stuff on the inside. It's so good. And it's not as sweet as that. You want to taste it? I do. <laughs> it's really, really good. I'm going to finish my donut. <laughs> I'm not. We're going to go get DJ <laughs> a cup while we over here mm -hmm. because we can't have him watching us and he doesn't get anything. We're going to take care of you, poo, poo Now, this donut is more dense. It feels way heavier mm. and it's kind of wet when you pick it up. Mm. Now, this is good. I'm liking this one. This is not sweet at all. They, You can see how they drizzled the sweetness on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You can see how they drizzled. It's not really sweet at all. Less glazy. Yeah. This is more like a, I don't know, a light, just a plain <laughs> donut with no icing on it. If I had to choose between the three of them, this would be my favorite. Because mm -hmm. I don't like sweet like that. I never have. But Peggy was saying earlier, this is what she thought about when she envisioned us RVing. Like, when we go to a new city, we go try new places, go try new things. Mm -hmm. Whatever is recommended by people, you know. If it's, if it's local here and we want me to get it anyplace else, let's go try it out. So, that's what we're probably going to be doing. We're going to try something like Berea some Berea at some point this week and some other things that's locally legendary. People said, man, when you get to El Paso, try this donut place, try this taco spot, try this burger's place, or try this steak. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm be looking for. Try this steak when you get here and stuff. So we're going to try things that we wouldn't be able to try hardly any place else. And that's what makes this whole RV lifestyle a little more adventurous, a little more unique. Just fun. Just fun. That's how you go. <laughs> a much, a much smaller way of saying it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, we just paid twenty five dollars <laughs> for, for an experience. For an experience. Four do, four donuts and two coffee. two macchiatos. We just spent twenty five dollars for the experience, but let me tell you something. I loved it. So anyway, that was good. My goal before we leave here is to find a really good spicy birria. The birria tacos that you have to dip. Because when we were in Los Angeles, we went to a place and they had seafood gumbo tacos. Oh, yes. I remember that. That was, yeah, the seafood gumbo taco over at the uh, the. If New I Orleans. can find a picture, I'm going to insert it right here. These were the best tacos I had ever eaten. Yeah. It was really good. You know, they, they fix them like birria and you dip them 
into the gumbo. Yeah. So good. I, what did I have over there? Cause that was a good, that was a whole good meal right there. That was. It, it was highly recommended. It's another one of those examples of a highly recommended restaurant that's located no place else. I'm gonna put the name of it right here, but it was it was basically just uh, Cajun food, and yeah. I had I had the like sausage and something sausage gumbo or whatever it was. Because you love the cornbread. Yeah. Oh, the cornbread, boy. It was really good. So that's why we do this. That's what I'm saying that that was really good. That was a great that was a great example. Yeah. So I mean, it don't hurt to get out and explore. Like we wouldn't spend twenty five dollars every day eating donuts you know and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway, fam, we'll see you at our next stop. No, no, we don't know where that'll be, but we're just out exploring. All right, fam. really cold out here so now I'm gonna find him something for his feet. Okay. Let's see I had to come in here to get these some treats. Peggy had to come in here because well, it's Target. So she's gonna do some shopping. I'm gonna go out there and get back with DJ. Look. Have fun babe. Wait, uh-uh. Uh-oh, okay. wait a minute. I almost got out fam. That was so close. Are y'all root oh <laughs> she found the How matching <laughs> <laughs> the matching sweater. I think I shall. That's funny. That is funny. Let me go get my dog. <laughs>